Tonight's five star story celebrates what we love about Memphis shining a light on a small group of remarkable journalists, change makers in the fight against injustice and inequality. As Kim Clark shows us, the award winning nonprofit newsroom known as MLK 50 Justice Through Journalism challenges the status quo in a way we can all be proud of. A statue of former slave turned teacher and journalist Ida B. Wells stands at Church Park in downtown Memphis, steps away from the church where Wells published the Memphis Free Speech and Headlight newspaper, a source of inspiration some 120 plus years later. Ida B. Wells was run out of Memphis for exposing things that the white power structure did not want exposed. and. I think a lot of the work we do also challenges the status quo. We, like Ida B. Wells, believe that things don't have to be the way they are, that they can be different, they can be better, and that's what all our work is in service of. Award-winning journalist Wendy C. Thomas is editor and publisher of MLK 50 Justice Through Journalism, which launched on April 4th, 2017, the 50th anniversary of the assassination of another civil rights icon, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. I knew that a lot of people were going to try to make this a celebration, but if you looked at the numbers um, of people living in poverty, uh, wages for workers, a lot of the issues that brought Dr. King to town, we had not made as much progress as uh, I think most of us would hope. Focused on the intersection of poverty, power, and public policy, MLK 50 was supposed to be a 12-month project, but more than six years later, it's still going strong. I knew I think a lot of it was seeing that the community responded to the content we were producing. It seemed like there was an audience for it. They wanted it to continue. The nonprofit digital news site has nine full-time employees, like former Memphis Business Journal reporter Jacob Steimer, who's also the winner of Report for America's Community Leadership Award for one of his MLK 50 stories. I hope to make things a little easier for low-income Memphis renters. Brittany Brown joined the MLK 50 team about a year ago after working the criminal justice beat in Mississippi, including for NPR's Southern News Hub. Well, I really um, liked the values and mission um, behind MLK 50, uh, being a newsroom that solely focuses on uh, the intersection of power, poverty, and policy, and really interrogating the, stat the status quo and using journalism as a tool for doing that and moving forth justice in an unapologetic way. Thomas is also a firm believer in taking journalism to the community and says she finds the freedom to do so with MLK 50. I'm really proud of the trust that Organizers, activists, um, people who are agitating for better housing, more fair criminal justice systems, uh, the faith and the trust that they put in us. It is an honor to be able to tell these stories. I think our founding ancestors knew that that distribution of information from an unbiased, um, impartial press was essential to democracy. And we see ourselves as part of that. We are writing stories, but yes, we're trying to keep people informed so that they can be better, edu uh, better voters, more educated voters at the poll and more engaged in their community and the issues that matter to them. As Ida B. Wells put it, the way to right wrongs is to turn the light of truth on them, a legacy that continues through the mission of MLK 50 Justice Through Journalism. Kim Clark, Action News 5. Fascinating. You can read any MLK 50 Justice Through Journalism nor news stories free of charge. For more information about the online publication, you can click on the link attached to this story at actionnews5.com.